our Rita Tina has the story of Qtron Industries, which was started through funding from NetFund. Take a look. With the rise in unemployment rates in the country, these two college buddies with a background in electrical engineering left university with a different mindset. Many people thought that we would start workshops and we start repairing TVs and radios, but we didn't want to follow that route because eventually you find your profession is being watered down. Joseph Gakuru and Farmer Kamau ventured into a new field, industrial automation, landing their first contract to install automated light switches. But now, with funding from the National Environment Trust Fund, Net Fund, the two are operating Qtron Industries in Juja, and they are redefining 3D printing. This bust of physicist Albert Einstein, the Statue of Liberty to the White House, among items printed using 3D technology. Instead of subtracting material from a workpiece, like when you're sculpturing, and 3D printer, what it will do, it will add material that you need to build whatever you want to develop. The process starts with this camera and this rotating platform. The camera captures an image, not your ordinary photographic image, but a 3D figurine. So this is the 3D file. It's a very complicated model captured by the 3D scanner. The file is saved and dragged into a 3D printing software. So with this, this way you come and choose the materials that you want to print with. So the printout does a very intelligent software. It is able to slice the model and with that you export that and you save that into a memory card. The memory card is inserted here and instructions are keyed in, including the type of printing material. In normal printing, you have inks and toners and cartridges. Here... So now the ink that you use to have that virtual image, that virtual file, to be something that you can touch, you can interact with, now you now have to use the filament, something we call filament. This is a 3D printing filament. The material comes in through here, through this Teflon tube. And we have uh, the mechanism here for printing, which is called the extruder. What it does, it, it pulls the material and melts it. And uh, at the tip, it has a nozzle. So that nozzle is where the extrusion of the material is. The printing is a very intricate process. It will apply the first layer upon the second layer, upon the third layer, until you develop uh, the final uh, 3D print. A layer can be... Uh, 100 microns. That is about the size of a strand of hair, but the process saves time and eliminates waste. You can have as many as four Albert Einsteins being printed at a go at once. So it takes around four hours to complete a full batch of Albert Einstein. The printing filament used for printing comes in different colors and is made up of flexible material with rubber properties made from recycled plastics. It's a biodegradable plastic which does not harm the environment, even when disposed outside. It's also recyclable. Joseph and Farmer developed their 3D printers using e-waste from items such as photocopiers. Keeping up with technological advancement, this is the third series 3D printer they have developed. We also do the programming. That's the, the brain of the printer. We do that, we uh, develop the circuit. Qtron Industries is now seeking to make available 3D printers to, among others, industrial designers and hospitals where 3D models are used for studies, as Joseph Gakuru and Fama Kamau continue chasing their dream. Rita Tinina, KTN News. This is KTN News.